What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my part 2 of my Girl Talk series. I did a Girl Talk Hygiene Uncensored on my channel probably a couple of months ago. I got amazing feedback. Also, I also got some people like arguing about my hygiene. It's my hygiene. It's the way I take care of myself, you know? And I just thought I'd share with you guys, but before you got like really personal, like chill. It's all good. So I got um, quite a few ideas. This one that I'm doing is the one I really wanted to get to you guys because I kept getting um, comments still on my video saying, hey, do your, pe do your period routine, do your period routine, do your period routine. And I said, you know what? <sighs> I'm buying things for my period. What the hell? Let's do the video. I just gave you guys an FYI. So anyways, this video is gonna be my period routine. It's not it's not like a probably something that you've never heard about or if something that you don't you're not gonna go and say I do that. I'm just sharing with you guys, sharing my tips and things that I do, and I'm pretty sure most of you girls out there do the same thing I do. First thing is just keeping it clean, okay? So if you guys wanna see what I use for my period routine, all you have to do is grab a snack and come join me because we're gonna get down to business. Okay, so, we get this once a month, some others get it twice a month, some get them for seven days, some get them for five, some get them for three days. Um, it all depends uh, on your cycle. The first thing is keeping it clean. You have to keep clean. You, we do know, again, this is uncensored. I'm going to talk to you guys about it. Like if I'm talking to my girlfriends, because that's what you guys are to me. You guys are my girlfriends on the other side of the world or next to me or my neighbors or whatever. That's what we are. We're grown-ups. So we do know that our body is um, getting rid of things that don't belong in our body pretty much. So the smell... We all know, we've all been there, it's not pleasant, so we have to try to keep clean. So pretty much just showering. Um, I have friends who shower literally, if they're home literally like three days, three times a day. They're like, I just can't stand it. I understand. You keeping it clean is the number one thing you can do, especially when you're on the go. I have products that I use when I'm on the go. So I'm going to talk about keeping it clean and um, keeping it clean. And the products that I use for that are the... Feminine wipes. I have feminine wipes here in my house. Um, I use the brand from either Walmart or Target because the always are quite expensive and you're just going to clean there and you're just going to flush away. Why are you wanting to spend so much money on the freaking wipey that you are literally just going to clean something with and you're just going to flush it away. So these things at Walmart run for like a dollar something and pretty much you get 48 wipes. They're flushable and they're fresh scent. So I clean myself with them wipes because we all been there. It gets really messy. You're like, oh my God, it's not stop. <laughs> so I, 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 we all been there. We all get our period. So keeping it clean with wipes, um, for me, it just refreshes me and it makes me feel a lot better. So I recommend always keeping your wipes with you on your toilet or the cabinet, anywhere. But the, the wipes are going to refresh you and they're going to make you feel refreshed. I absolutely love The wipes on the go that I like to use are the Summer's Eve uh, Simple Sensitive Cleansing Cloth. These are pretty much on the go because if I am out, I'm running errands or I'm just doing some stuff and I have to go to the bathroom. And that's the thing with me. Every time I go to the bathroom, um, if I'm wearing pads, I need to change. Just me see, like me seeing that my pad is dirty makes me feel like I'm dirty. Like, okay, I need to like pulling it back up, just wet and just cussing, and you're just like, okay. So me personally, I need to change up. So I always carry with me. I will let you know exactly what I carry with me when I go. But when we're talking about cleansing clouds on the go, these are pretty good. They're very discreet. They're very small. Instead of carrying this thing like, oh yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. Everyone knows what you're doing in the bathroom. Everyone does not know, need to know what you're doing in the bathroom. So very discreet. These things are very discreet. These are the, again, these are the simply um, simple sensitive cleansing cloth. And hail to the V. 
to live with JJ. So these things are really, really good. I like, I like these things um, because you can keep them on your purse. You can keep a little, I keep a little purse. I'll show you what I keep inside the little purse when I go. It's my go-to um, like on the go when I am on my period. I like to use a Summer's Eve um, deodorant spray. And again, I talked about this. I do use this when I'm showering after a shower. I spray it all over. People don't like spraying this on their vajayjays, around their vajayjays, because people can be very sensitive. So people are very sensitive, so some people don't like to spray. I recommend you can just go ahead and um, pull your panties up and spray this around your panties area. So it kind of draws the uh, smell onto your clothes instead of actually on yourself. People don't like to spray. I don't spray it directly because I don't want to be like, okay, this is burnt. This burns. But I do spray a little bit um, far from it or if I just pull my panties up and I spray it around it just because I want to be able to smell something rather than that smell. So always having a deodorant spray is really, really good. And why not use one that was made for your area? So this one is really, really good. I prefer tampons, to be honest, because... You don't feel that moist and that wetness during the day. And you're just like, oh my God, for instance. No, it's true. We've all been there. We all get this once a month. Um, and it doesn't feel good. So I prefer tampons any, any day. Um, there was once in my life before I had my second child that it was very hard for me to use tampons because my uterus was reversed. Yeah, we'll get into that in another um subject so it was very painful for me to um use tampons so i had to use pads and it was just gross because you feel that and whatever if you guys use pads and you guys can't use tampons that's fine I, there's vice versa there's people who can't use pads use tampons people who can't use tampons they use pads so if you do use pads i recommend always having your um wipes with you so you can always refresh or whatever when i use pads it's basically when i'm going to sleep and the ones the pads that i use are always the always because I find them that they move with me. They're very comfortable and they absorb very, very good. These ones are the ultra thin, long, super eight hour length uh, leak guard protection. And these are not the these are not the, the overnight ones. There's people who have to use overnight ones. Thank God I don't have to use the overnight ones anymore. I used to have to use them, but I don't anymore. Um, but these ones are the ones I use for to go to, to sleep. These are the long super. And I like them because they're flexible and they have wings. And I feel very comfortable wearing them. But I do tell you I have a trick. Because I feel like the pad and then it moves with you. It's like you have a diaper. I wear, um, this is going to be out there and it's quite, quite personal. I use a um, bathing suit panty on top of my panties. <laughs> yes, I, use, I have an old bathing suit panties that um, used to be... Um, very very tight on me so when i'm wearing the pad and i'm around my house i'm going to sleep i wear that ba i wear that bathing suit panty because it's so tight and it keeps it in place and i don't feel like my pad is dancing with me everywhere i go because it feels really really bad so that pad that bathing suit bottom helps me keep it in place and i don't feel like like Oh my god, it's coming out or something. So that's a little FYI. That's a little tip I, I can share with you guys. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> but I did. So I use those for night. Um, they do have their night ones. They do have their day. But for me, I prefer always when it comes to pads. Um, I used to use the regular ones, which are the pink ones. Um, those are pretty good, too. So they're very thin, and they absorb very, very well. For tampons, I prefer the um tampax pearl this is the tampax pearl um pocket pearl they are very tiny so these are the ones that i like to you guys can see these are the ones that i like to carry with me when i go out because they're very discreet they're very small they fit in my little purse my little pouch when i have to um change and freshen up these are um super plus absorbents they're unscented they absorb a lot and they have a built-in backup so they they're like they're the little thing that hangs and you can pull it out is a little bit thicker. So um, if you kind of leak, that's going to, hey, I gotcha, sort of thing. So I love Tampax Pearls because they're very, um, they're very good. Also the, um, oh, that's another brand, Playtex. Playtex is really, really good too. Um, but right now I love these ones because they're so small 
and they fit perfectly fine. But I prefer having tampons because of the fact that everything is in there and you go to the bathroom and you don't see a mess. But, but, I always wear panty liners when I wear tampons. I do. Just to avoid any leakage or just to avoid anything, I wear panty liners. Um, you can use always. I love the Coltex. Uh, you buy Coltex. Um, these are the panty liners. And they're thin. They're like the thinnest one I have come across. I use this all the time. All the time. Um, if I'm on my period or if I'm not on my period, I'm ovulating. I use this because it helps your panties and it helps you not feel like if you're ovulating, you don't want to be like, oh my god. So I recommend always using a panty liner. Um, these ones are really good. They have the thin, they have the thong one, they have the regular one, and they have the long one. So you can, if you like wearing thongs, they also have thongs um, ones, but I love these. These are very discreet. I love them. What do I carry on my to-go? Simple. I carry one of these things. Actually, a couple. I carry a couple of these things. I carry at least two tampons. And I carry a panty liner. And I carry my deodorant this is my to-go kit this is what I carry on my little to-go kit when I'm going to when I'm going to the bathroom when I'm going out this is what I like because I like to touch up I like to be able to be fresh and not feel weird or whatever and if I have to change something happens you never know some things can happen I highly recommend you keeping your cleansing pads with you it's gonna make you feel so much better it's gonna make you feel refreshed and we all know that that time of the month comes we get cravings I think you can have as many snacks as you like. As many snacks as you like. I like to keep my Oreos because for some reason, I just need to have chocolate. Like, I crave chocolate. Like, I see chocolate everywhere I go and I just want to eat the chocolate because I crave chocolate. So, I have my candy and then I crave, I, for some reason, I crave cake. And these cakes I've been loving, these are the coffee cakes. You can get anything. I just brought this in here so you guys can see that you are on your period girl it's only once a week it's only once a month go for it stuff your face it's gonna make you feel better the pain it's excruciating some people get pain thank god i don't get much pain that i cannot deal with tylenol i pop my two tylenols every four to six hours please read the label and pop your pills as with the way you should pop your pills um some people use mito it helps with the bloating for me, Mito doesn't help with anything. I get bloated and all I do is I just pretty much drink a lot of water and I just wait until my period comes and that just naturally leaves. I don't have a remedy to tell you, hey, this is gonna help you with your bloatness. I really don't. People use Mito for the bloatness. People use uh, Mito for the PMS symptoms. You can use any um, that you like. I use Tylenol and it helps, thank God. And I used to put my hot patches. They have the thermal patches now that you can use on the go if you have pain. But I highly recommend that if you have period pain, check your app, see when you're about to get your period, and start taking your pills before you actually get your period because the pain is so, so intense that you it's naturally going to go away, but the pills will help if they're already on your system. That's what I do. I look at my, I look at my calendar, and I'm starting to see that I'm bloated. I'm starting to get pains in my back. I know I'm going to get my period. Very soon, I start popping my Tylenol, so um, it helps me with the pain. So, I do is I pop my pills before, I go into bed, I relax, and if I need my patch, I put it on, I turn it on, and I just want warmness on all, all over, and then all I do is pretty much um, stuff my face with um, anything. Anything. You're allowed to stuff your face with anything you want. You're on your period. Enjoy it. <laughs> because you're getting paid, you stuff your face. <laughs> So uh, this is it. This is my peer routine. It's nothing big. It's nothing major. I just wanted to share with you guys. The number one thing I do is always keep it clean, keep it very fresh, and always freshen up with my wipes and always freshen up with my deodorants. And that's pretty much it. Honestly, I don't have like, oh my God, did you know that you could do this? I really don't. I, this is all I have for you guys. If you guys found it helpful, informative, um, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up. You guys want to see more Girl Talk series? All you guys have to do is give that video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what other videos for your girl series girl talk series you guys want to see i have one comment which is how to keep your man interested
that was one that was very controversial on the comments. But anyways, stay tuned because many more Girl Talk tears will be coming your way. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you for sticking till the end. Besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye.